Hi everybody welcome to JCH studio today i am going to guide you how to model a 3d candle in melted condition and texturing for the same and this is blender new 4.0 version and which has many interface has been changed and its uh, more rendering has been increased uh, for better performance and uh, many things is nice in this new features okay let's start the video select everything and delete it first we have to save the file so i'm just going to save as uh, melted candle okay now file has been saved let create your cylinder and go to front view scale it in z axis and g z to move towards here and press control e and apply the location because we have moved the location and scale we can press rotation and scale to apply the transform so before doing anything any shape is changed apply the transform then the output will come exact required units or uh, measurements okay don't forget that always apply the scales and further things okay let's uh, go for the next step and press tab key and go to the edge selection use the shift key alt to unselect the bottom edges and go to select and checker deselect so now it has been deselected press yes to scale and shift z to scale it without z axis and uh, y axis so i'm going to make it uh, this much requirement and go to the front view and i'm going to add uh, some more loop cuts here so two loop cuts i make it okay i make it on uh, five loop cuts so you will let me know why i'm uh, giving the more uh, edges okay now here i create one more edge and g z and move towards here press t to face selection and yes to scale it and i'm going to create one more edge loop here and uh, face selection and x to scale it and in bottom i'm going to give small bevel here like this okay so this is the bottom uh, of the candle and here we are going to do some more uh, techniques to rotate the candle now don't forget to apply the scale and everything press control a rotation and scale so all transform when you give this pivot point will go to the 3d cursor and uh, that rotation will be a little bit different so now rotation will be nice so let it be the same so it should be in object of the center that power punch should be there for the making the rotations okay so after applying the rotation and scale press shift a and create a let us see go to front view you can able to see the let us see i go to the wi-fi mode and don't skip the video otherwise you will miss many points and you go your uh, 3d model doesn't come as per our requirement so don't miss the uh, points and don't skip the video see the full video to make it uh, a perfect design and if you are new to this channel subscribe my channel and if you like the video like and share it with your friends okay let's continue gz so i'm going to scale it like this and gz and uh, scale z fine so i'm going to apply the rotation starting from here go to the letter c properties here i'm going to add some more cuts here 333 three. so here you can see the box has been came like this before it will be like this so we want multiple points to Okay, go to edit mode with selecting the letters go to the front view and select the bottom and rotate in z axis 
okay sorry yeah, we have missed to apply the lattices here i select the lattices okay it, i have given the strength one and now we can start applying rotate set axis and select the rotate set axis and select this rotate z axis so let's see how it looks yeah looks fine so we can go further for uh, further editing okay uh, looks good so then now what i'm going to do is i'm going to object select i'm going to close the subdivision and i'm going to apply this let us see and i'm going to hide this let us see for what okay now go to edit mode and uh, press 3a for the face selection and e to extrude right click to cancel s to scale and uh, extrude to z axis and s to scale e to extrude s to scale e to extrude s to scale and uh, g z we can make it a little bit bump here okay fine now here we are going to do some ups and downs here i'm going to select some uh, various here okay i'm going to press o orientation to turn on this and press g z to move so i'm going to reduce this a little bit okay okay fine so now uh, here this shape we have uh, made for the top one and here we can uh, select these edges scale turn of the orientation scale scale z zero and g z to move a little bit down or let it be okay let it be it looks nice fine it looks higher let me go and see with okay fine uh, this looks uh, better okay and we can select this and uh, gz to move let's see e text to run scale gz okay fine so this is the model we have given here and uh, this we will still go for further editing and when we go for the search smooth okay this kind of looks good okay let's go uh, for the next editing i like, uh, apply the subdivision okay i apply the subdivision and i go to the sculpting mode here uh, we are going to do some more uh, for the designs here and i press r to scale the vertex fix and here i'm going to give a little bit more and i go to the remesh modifier and uh, fix the poles and i'm going to click remesh before that i will show you how it looks you can see the box and uh, edges and when i apply the remesh and it will regenerate the object properties now you can see how it looks so here we are going to do some more modeling here okay i'm going to give some uh, i'm going to increase the brush size using a f and fixing the level okay and i'm going to smooth using the shift key and i'm going to use the control key to more uh, doing some uh, uh, curves here i'm going to increase the reduce the brush size and i'm going to make it still more here like this and i'm going to reduce still more down and i'm going to make it a uh, still depth i will increase the brush size okay now here i'm going to make still more depth here I use the shift key to make it smooth. Okay, fine. 
so here in this corner we can able to see the this we have want some uh, depth here for melting the candle so we want to move it down so i'm going to use a grab key and i'm going to increase the brush size and i'm going to make it down like this using a grab button still i'm going to give uh, a little bit of uh, more inside okay I'll do it okay and let me grab this down a little bit and this one down a little bit okay so we can make it this smoother it is a little weird because so we can make it a uh, smoother this and here also we can make it a uh, little bit down so i do one thing i make my brass a little bit higher and i'm going to increase the strength and you can able to see it will uh, move a little bit uh, better compared to the the time so we can grab and we can move okay and here also i will uh, make it down okay uh, instead of uh, doing that side so we can make it better uh, like this this side here we have made so we can make it using a smooth key here i go to this brush and i use smooth key to make it a little bit uh, word okay here also okay so now we are going to do further modeling the candles will leak out here uh, every every time right so i reduce the brush down i reduce it a little more Okay, fine. So I'm going to make it here first, big one, and I just start pumping this. So I make it one more big. Okay, and I use the control key to make it a little bit of bump. Uh, sorry, a little bit of depth. So I make it here the candlelit folds. Okay, you can add here and add some depth here. Okay, and here we have uh, added some uh, and draw additional draw so we can make it a small small things to make it a better look. So I reduce the brass. Okay, increase it a little bit, quite a bit curve. So because we want some bump here. And I reduce the brush size and I start slimming like this. And I make it a little bit here. And I will start here one more thing. So and we are going to drop here on more drops and I'm going to reduce still more brass a little bit and here I'm going to make it so this is the way the candle looks uh, when it's uh, melted and uh, all the wax is going down and i'm going to reduce it still more and i'm going to make it still more accurate okay because we don't know how uh, every way the melted points will go so we cannot assume exactly here only it goes and uh, we can make it some uh, bump here and let me flow the candles and here it goes so 
so we are here uh, we can make it end point a uh, little bit uh, like this some points to start boring and uh, stop till here okay we can make it some more points uh, here also okay and then to increase the uh, okay we can make one row for that okay looks good time same thing we are going to make it uh, still more here so we have given some uh, bomb points to melted and it stopped uh, and that way and here also we are going to make a little bit uh, designed and here it's not crossed over much so we have i i hope it's finally we have some uh, good output and uh, here also we can make it a little bit uh, efficient bumps okay right and here also we can make it a light difference okay fine so now uh, here in top we can a little bit concentrate it to make it a little better so side way everything is good so we today we are going um, this one Okay, let me increase this, uh, and I press Control to make it. Okay, instead of doing this, we can go to the Smoother tool, and uh, we can uh, start smoothing. So I increase the brush size. So smoother, it makes smoother, and it will reduce the size also. So because we want a smoother point here because everything will be melted. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. So now our uh, candle output has been almost completed. I increase the font and make it strength. Make it big. There it is, the radius. Increase the strength to one to make it a little bit faster here. Okay, we can make it here also a little bit less because it's look like very sharp. Okay, fine. Um but uh, this doesn't look much good compared to before so i'm, do, I'm doing this okay so and i'm going to just uh, reduce only uh, this part and this part a little bit and this part a little bit okay fine so okay let's uh, start modding the further things i save the file because i missed to save it uh, frequently and I go to the layout model and press shift A to create a cylinder and go to the front view and uh, GZ scale it down scale it a little bit exactly and scale it down go to the main point and uh, this we are going to make it as the top scale it set and scale it scale it down and scale it z g z okay g z and uh, go to edit mode go to the wireframe and uh, we can hide this object uh, before doing this this looks better and create some curves and go to the uh, edge selection go to the front view and uh, start rotating the cylinder and G to move okay sorry sorry 
so we have made mistake so we have to select we have to select it in the wireframe to select all the vertices and rotate it and rotate it g and g to move and i'm going to scale this one and scale this scale this one more scale this one more and we are going to make some uh, different shape here okay so here we have uh, made this alt h to unhide everything i'm going to hide this too uh, this looks uh, too big i'm going to raise a little bit no let it be there because uh, this candle is a little bit big candle huh? so we can make it go to and go to set here fine okay this part is uh, modeling is over so we have uh, designed a uh, melted uh, candle with burning conditions then we can do for the next thing in as a part two is a texturing so this part one is over thank you for watching bye bye